On this Vivian Tries, I'm bringing you 10 products you cannot find at every Walmart. Number one, Pina Colada Cocktail Infused Mix. Have you seen this before? You have to use your own alcohol. This is just the dried part of it. Add 15 ounces of white rum for best results. Infuse for 12 to 18 hours. If it's good after two minutes, it's gonna be delicious after 18 hours, right? <laughs> if you've had these, let me know what flavor you got. You know I'm gonna get the pina colada because I love pineapple and I love coconut. Oh, it's a cork. <gasps> I just had flashbacks of being at home on a tropical beach. It looks like this sugary yellow is the pineapple and then it has big chunks of dried coconut. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip in two minutes for the video, but I'm gonna leave it in my refrigerator for 18 hours. I have the white rum, but I don't know how much 15 ounces is. Why can't I just feel it? Y'all need to put a fill line. Would be very helpful because when you're drunk, you are not able to measure accurately. Strainer not included. Why do I have to strain it? Why I can't eat the fruit inside? It's not that kind of fruit. Oh my God. Tell me when, tell me when. I'm gonna say it to right there, that's good. And then you put the cork on top. Some of those pieces inside are pineapple as well. Let me shake it. Look at that color though, very organic. <laughs> Very natural color. And I just noticed that this organic color of the Pina Colada Infusion matches my beautiful canary yellow hoodie you can purchase on cute.com. You know what's gonna be cool about this when it's sitting in the fridge for hours and hours and days? These things are gonna expand and this is gonna look like a chunky soup because they're already expanding. That pineapple is thick now. Now I can smell the pina colada again. Okay, at first it wasn't infused. See, the longer you leave it, kind of like beef stew. I have great examples. <laughs> <laughs> you know beef stew, that shit's better tomorrow. Two days from now, that shit's mm. That's what I feel like this is. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. I'm scared because I don't know if I'm supposed to be drinking the stuff that's not dissolved. Because it says strain it. It's just coconut. Oh my God, now I'm scared. Because there's floaties in there. It's because you don't want to choke. <laughs> Ready? I love this color of this hoodie. It's one of my favorites. It's so pretty and bright. It makes me happy. Okay, ready? Salud. I'm chewing coconut. That is divine. Before your next party, you better infuse about 10 of these in every flavor. That is so good. In the beginning of this video, I said that you can't find all these products at every Walmart. If you can't find it at Walmart, you better find it somewhere. Summertime is coming, pool parties. And I wanna take it as a shot, but it got lots of chunks of coconut and I am not throwing that away. You think I'm gonna infuse it and not eat my coconut? That's the best part. We are gonna infuse that all the way, oh, right there. So. I'm gonna give the pina colada infused dry cocktail mix 10, five Vivian heads. Find them wherever you're at. It's an emergency. Number two, pan pop fizz keeper for your soda pop. Keeps all the fizz in there. It saves canned drinks from going flat. Do you believe that? Easy snap on design. Oh, it's a pump. I thought it was just like little clippy thing you put on top. Oh no, can we take this out and about? Does it have a suction seal on it? If you're garage selling, or is this just at home use only? <laughs> Somebody let me know. Also has this rubber rim that I'm hoping is what's gonna suction to the top of this. Oh, you have to open it. This part like this. Snap that on first. That's what it looks like. Okay, you're gonna have to push it hard because it has to get a nice suction with this little lippy thing. I call everything a lip. Oh, got it. I'm scared. Why am I scared? Because that seal is on tight. I didn't open the soda pop. Dumb, dumb. Whoa, see, I <laughs> can't. Pop your soda pop. Now do it again. Remember this part's a little hard. That's way easier now. I wonder it's cause it's open. <sighs> Silly girl. The next step is to pump it. One, two, three, four. Before I pump it four times, let's flip it just to see if there's a seal already. Ready? One, two, three, go. What? Okay, be careful. It's still soda pop. You have to hold it just in case it goes flying. One, two, three, 
four. It doesn't pump. Now let's, oh. I don't think you're supposed to do this. Carbonation in here is good. <laughs> if you throw this in your purse right now, when you go to open this, <laughs> this is gonna be a surprise. Don't look away, I'm only doing this one time. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, ma'am. Every time I wanna get a sip of my Dr. Pepper, I gotta go through that torture? That's trauma. Look at this, even the can indented right there. This is very dangerous, this is not a game. It says, warning, direct away from your eyes and face when you're releasing the pressure opening the can. Absolutely not, throw this away. Return it. That is dangerous to me. You think I'm gonna let my kid open that? After I done pumped it up, kids threw it around in the back seat, and now they gotta open it to get a sip? Carbonation in an airtight seal does not go together. So I'm gonna give the can pump keeper one. Vivian head, for safety reasons, I just cannot recommend this. Number three. Under wraps. Never carry a purse again. Sometimes you don't want to carry a purse. Cruise, church, sometimes you're tired and you don't want to take, not even the Bible. <laughs> you're going to hell. That's all I'm saying. They're going to pray for you if you don't bring your Bible and pretend like you like these people. Securely carry your cash, your phone, your lipstick, ID, and your keys. Wow. If you're out of town and you're scared of losing your shit, it's your secret pocket. <laughs> this is for anybody who has a thigh. It's for safety and security reasons. Concerts. Didn't think of it. Weddings. You're wearing that cute ass dress. Ain't nobody trying to carry a big ass purse. A beach. I don't know about the beach. How are you gonna hide it? It's not a secret pocket if people can see it. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's showing you how to put it in there. Oh no, it does not have pockets. It has pockets. Why did I think you just tucked it in and then you wrapped this around your leg? It, there's pockets. Each of those is pockets. I just thought you wrapped it around your thigh and you just tuck shit into it. <laughs> like you do in your bra, you know, how girls do that? Oh, and it's so soft. And look, you see those little things inside of there? Like silicone? That is so it does not roll down your leg. All this can be attached to this Velcro. So if you're a skinny queen, and boom, all the way there. See? And then you got beautiful luscious thighs like I do. Boom, all the way out here. It still works. You wanna put it lower on the leg? Boom, tighten it up. If you want it high, high, close to the church, like this, boom. Not only for thighs and legs. Why can't I put it right here? Oh, the lace is so nice. Boom, right there. You need to have a stash of panties, you never know. Oh, that might give you a bulge. Five slots. Oh, they're gonna hear all that when you're at the club dancing? I'm like your teeth are jiggling in your pocket now. <laughs> Go home. First, this side. You wanna get it nice and snug so it doesn't slip down, okay? Now this side. That's what it should look like on your thighs. So I'm gonna say stick to flat things. IDs, credit cards, cash. So I'm gonna give the under wraps to Vivian Heads. Number four, pancakes. <laughs> like pain in your butt. The name, cheese balls. The cold pack that sticks. So why are we calling it pancakes if it's a cold pack? Why don't we call it cold cakes? I think all gel packs give you the same relief. It says re-stickable up to 100 times. Easy to use, convenient, latex-free, strap-free. <laughs> I put them in the freezer before I started so that they can freeze up. It's just a gel pack that sticks. That's all it is. Okay, that's what they look like. You're supposed to just let them sit for a minute before you put them on your skin so that you don't get a freezer burn. Skin can become desensitized. What? Desensitized following the cold therapy. Oh, so you can't just tear these off. Is this safe? Can I put this on my face? Sometimes you have a headache, not on my face, but on my forehead. So you gotta keep this little piece. Cause after you're done, you gotta put it back so you can get your 100 uses out of it. You better count too and let me know if you can get 100 uses out of it. And if you've used one of these before and you love it, I need to know about it. So you're supposed to let it just sit out for a few seconds. Oh, that's cold. Okay, I love it. <laughs> you know why I love it? Because it sticks. I know, I was just bashing it because it's silly. Holy hell, that is freezing. Let's try to take it off. Ouch. I'm loving and hating it, like equally. Oh, the cold is cold. Cold, cold. I like the size and it sticks good. Like it was not about to come off my hand, but it did penetrate. <laughs> I guess if you play tennis, I'm an athlete, but I don't play that sport. <laughs> Look at these skills. <laughs> if you're lawn mowing, call, 
it's too cold. That gets really cold really fast. Whoa. You better be careful with these, but they're gonna help you for sure. You're outside working on the yard and your shit is hurting. Put one of these on, you're gonna look silly with gel packs all over your face and arms, but they can kiss it. It's not in their business. Are they gonna come mow the yard for you? Sometimes I get a headache and ice is everything. Oh, oh, okay. I wanna endorse it. <laughs> I'm getting frostbite, not frostbite. What is that? Cold brain freeze? That's what it feels like right now. This is gonna cure a headache immediately. I can feel it through the back of my head. <laughs> Straight through, I can feel it back here. In five seconds, remove after one minute. I agree. Slowly increase chill and application time. Oh, you slowly gotta build up to it. You better give me a hundred uses out of this. Can I just run it underwater and it gets sticky again like those toys from the 80s that you threw on the wall? and then it rolled down. And then after a while, it just got all hairy from all the carpet. <laughs> then you have to wash it. Is that this? I'm loving it because it's small too. So if you get one of those headaches like right there or right here, you're gonna be able to Netflix and chill and have an ice pack stuck to your face. In the beginning, y'all got me with the cheesy ass name, but the product might freaking work. If I could take this off once it didn't stick anymore and I could stick a new sticker on there and then continue using it. If that's the company's business plan, then product of the damn year. If not, y'all suck. Somebody make accessories for these things. <laughs> like the iPhone. I am an inventor's dream. I come up with ideas all day. If you want an idea, I just gave you one. I just want royalties. I want 25 cents perpetuity. Mr. Wonderful says, Says that. So I'm gonna give the pain cakes four Vivian heads. I took a Vivian head off because I don't know about the stickiness of it. Number five, Elf Magnetic Mask Kit. Look at it in the back. I actually think the little thing, the little wand that you use is a magnet. How cool is this? I bet that pulls all kinds of gunk off your face, don't you think? I think this has been around for a while. This is not new. Visually lift away surface imperfections. You guys know I love a good face cream, a good facial, a good whatever. I love all of it. Avoid your eyes, leave five to 10 minutes. To take off, hover the magnet tool just above the surface and glide slowly. It does say to use on clean skin. Obviously I have makeup, but I'm gonna do it on just one half of my face because I wanna see if it pulls the makeup off. Yeah, you go like this and it, it just sucks up. I guess that's the magnetic formula. Okay. It has a really nice smell too. A little bit citrusy. It feels so nice. It feels very buttery. For best results, do not rinse face off with water. It's been about five minutes or so and I am getting a bit of a, not a heat sensation, but a tingling. Mm, not tingling either. I don't know. I have a sensation right where the mask is. Ready? I got goosebumps. What kind of witchcraft is this? If you love this and you've been using it and it really has results, let me know. But so far it's winning because I can feel like. This is the craziest shit I've ever experienced. Oh, the sensation is so nice. Look at this. It's all off my face. And it actually did lift the makeup off my face. So it's pulling something. I don't know how much. Put a little bit on my hand so you guys can see. And I think the thicker, the better. Ready? One, two, three, go. Wow. Okay, the sensation gets five Vivian heads. Is it doing anything? I don't know. Somebody needs to give me the clinical trials to let me see if this is powerful enough to be lifting anything or is it just giving me a little tingling sensation that ain't doing nothing. If you find them on sale, pick it up. So I'm going to give the e.l.f. Magnetic Mask Kit three Vivian heads. Number six. S'mores two love roasting real you can do marshmallows or you can do a hot dog oh this is multi-purpose fork rotates and extends to 27 inches damn removable and dishwasher safe fork have you seen these marshmallows there is chocolate in them so i thought they would be perfect if they look crusty they are they've been in my pantry for a minute 
<laughs> oh, it's not bad. <gasps> it's the antenna hook. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I told you how they recycled all the antennas from the 80s and they're making all kinds of products with them? So now we can make s'mores with antennas. But wait a second. What is this for? Oh, uh, this is probably what's rotating it. Look. Oh, cute, but this is manual. <laughs> how cute is this? Buy the ones that are stuffed. I think they make all kinds of stuff now. They have, I think, strawberry, birthday cake. Oh no, it's too heavy. Oh wait, now it's on the thing. <gasps> oh, you gotta jiggle it. You gotta jiggle it in there. So I'm gonna give the s'mores to love fishing roasting thing four Vivian heads. Number seven. Sani garbage disposal cleaner. So this is like a mousse that you just spray into your disposal. It says it is an enzyme foam. I wanted it for the fresh lemon smell. That is the best smell in the kitchen, don't you think? I think you can get a couple of uses out of this, right? Okay, let's take it down to my sink. Let's test it to see. I filled up the disposal with the stuff and at first, it smelled heavenly. Lemon fresh was coming out of that garbage disposal, but once I ran water through it, I can't smell it. So keep that in mind. This is not a deodorizer. Like it's always giving you fresh lemon smells throughout the month. You spray it in there, you leave it for 10 minutes, and then you pour in hot water for one minute. It was interesting that when I started pouring in the water, it kind of like started filling up my sink with water. I don't know, maybe the enzymes were working. I don't know. It wasn't immediately just flushing through. I don't know that I would spend the extra money for this thing. You can use the regular stuff around your house to do the same thing. So I I'm gonna give the Sani 360 three Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.